Hi again. In this lecture, you will learn how to go from this to this. So, as you see, this is a PDF map. And that is the QGIS project. So, you will learn how to print out your map on a PDF so that you can send it to anyone. And producing an output for your QGIS project can be very frustrating if you don't know how to do it. But if you follow this video, everything will be clear and you'll be able to turn all your QGIS projects into PDF images or other file formats. And the way this works is through the Print Composer. So basically you need to uh, create a Composer object. And to do that you can either go to New Print Composer or you can go to Composer Manager. Here you will see all the composers that you have created along your QGIS project. This is my composer that I built before. You will not have anything here if you haven't used the composer before. Anyway, I'll add a new composer here. And you need to give it a name, let's say MSC degree, just like that. And you get a new print composer displayed. Uh, this window here is important. If you go to composition here you can uh, specify the page size that you want to have the final output on. You also have the orientation. I'll just leave them like that. Then you have the item properties tab. Now what is an item? As you see here we have a blank composer for now. And what we need to do now is to add items. And items are all this here. So you have a map item, you have a label item, you have a scale bar item. You can add images to your map. You can even add an, an attribute table of your shapefile and so on and so forth. So the very first thing you need to add to your uh, blank composer is the map item. So I click the add map and then you want to specify the rectangle area where you want your map to be inserted. That's it. So basically we got the view that we have in our QGIS project. So this is the QGIS project and this is the composer. Now when you add an item, like we added a map item now, you can modify the item properties in this item properties tab here. So you have quite a lot of properties which I'll leave them like that and I'll go and add a label and you can use a label for many things I'm using it as a title so as you see I have selected the label here the label item and I have the uh, properties for the label item on the right so you can go ahead and say people with master degrees and of course you want to change the font maybe to a bigger one say 26, you want to make it bold, that looks good, maybe a nicer color, white would go well with that, all right, you may want to add a scale bar, a scale bar normally goes to the bottom of the map, and then you can modify it, you can edit its properties, but let's uh, leave its properties li like this for now. And then one uh, very important item is the legend. So the legend will allow your, your audience to actually read the map. Because these points for now they, they don't make any sense. And the colors don't either. So you may want to put your legend in here. And as you see we actually have too many classes in this legend. And the reason for that is that in the QGIS project we actually had a lot of classes. Just here. So if you go to the properties of the polygon layer you'll see that we had a categorized styling here. That will produce a value for each feature. So what you'd want to do instead is go to graduated and then choose master degree normalized and you don't want a precision of 4, so you only want, let's say, 
two decimal points. And maybe choose another color if you like. And let's say we want five classes, would be good. All right, so if you click OK, now you see that your map changed. So we have darker colors here, which means that there is a high percentage of people with a master degree. You may also want to have a nicer marker for the supermarkets. Let's say this one here. Six is the size. You can change it if you like. All right, that looks good. Go to the print composer now. And the legend was automatically changed. If you want to change the map as well, you need to press the refresh view button. Okay. And if you want a transparent background for the legend, you'd want to click the legend, the legend item and then go to its properties. Uh, let's say you want, yeah, the background here. And you want to put opacity to zero. If you also want to change the color of your fonts, you'd go over to fonts and then you have different sections of your legend. So you have the font for the title. You may want to make it bold. Press OK. And you can change the color for all your items. Let's try this one. No, very bad. Maybe this. That looks good, but only if we have them bold. All of them. The group font as well. And the item font. All right, this looks good. And now let's think of the items of the legend. So as you see, they are not very descriptive. For example, uh, we don't need this one here. The first item so what you can do is go to the legend items here click on that and click the filter legend item and that will disappear you also may want a descriptive text for the number of people with with a master degree so you don't want this to be something so to, to change that you need to go to the print uh, to the QGIS project click on that and go to rename say people with a master degree and specify that this is a ratio and that will be automatically updated in here all right if you want to change the position of your map you go to move item content and then click on the map and then you can drag it like that here would be good if you want now to focus on, on another item, you go to this button here. Okay, and let's say you want to move the legend like that here. If you want to zoom out, you may want to change the scale. So at the moment you have a scale of 1 to 8400 almost. If you want a more zoomed in map, you'd uh, want a smaller number here. So let's say 8000 and you get zoomed in. So if you say, let's say 1000, you will have a very zoomed in area on the map. So this looks good. In the map that I showed you, things look a bit different, but you get the idea. If you want this white and here you can just drag it and then go to the properties, you know, font color, make it white. So it's very easy to do. Then after you have finished with your composer, you can go to these buttons here and you have different options to export your map to. So you have a, an image option, you have a SFG and you have PDF. So just go there and specify the name of the map and wait a while. And your map should be here. That's it. So that was how to make maps out of census data. I hope you enjoyed this and found this useful. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them in the discussion board. Thanks a lot.